here is a research development model presented as the pillars of an academic temple. Why? Well, these four pillars collaborate to hold up the roof so that the good work that goes on inside can be accomplished. Can a roof stand without four corner posts or pillars? Of course it can, but probably not less than three. And the stronger each of those posts are, then the more it can support. Each of these pillars is important. So pillar number one, strategic research advancement. This pillar focuses on the role of your institution in research development from the perspective of investment in institutional resources, such as time and money, but also in alignment with your institution and, and their current and future goals. Strategic planning. Is your institution seeking to grow its research portfolio and thus needs to incentivize faculty to pursue research funding? If so, well then this may involve seed funding to help faculty test the feasibility of an idea or get preliminary data they need to apply for an extramural grant. Strategic advancement can also include encouraging interdisciplinary co collaborations among faculty, which has become very important in um, a lot of the sponsored programs these days. A lot of the agencies are looking for multiple perspectives to solve a problem. Perhaps your institution's strategic plan includes expanding its re research infrastructure perhaps through cluster hires to concentrate talent in specific areas, such as engineering, bioscience, or even the computer sciences. And reaching beyond your campus, this is also a very good strategy in terms of helping connect faculty with uh, community partners or industry partners, uh, creating alliances um, from those who can help give um, a different dimension to their research to take their research to another level. And it also includes promoting their accomplishments through your institution's social media and uh, publication efforts that you have uh, to help spread the good news of what they're doing uh, in their research. Pillar two, communication. There are six options that can fall under communication. Marketing awareness can be done in a number of ways. Newsletters, magazines, press releases, social media, blog posts, email announcements, websites, and other options. They can also be done by a wide variety of offices in ways that do or don't overlap. That support um, and cross-link um, um, are, are connected, can be connected by a plan or at least an intentional recognition of cooperation. Disseminating funding opportunities and improving the use of search engines is an age-old part of research administration. Many now support profiles and sending opportunities directly to faculty. Your sending things directly to those who are interested, though, is a way of not only keeping people who need to be informed adequately informed, it is also a statement that you remember what they are interested in, which is the point of the last two bullets on caring and mentoring. Direct contact and paying attention. Building a relationship is the phrase that sums it up. Let your investigators know that you are an honest partner who listens, provides support, arranges support when you can't give it, and is available for them. I've had many conversations with faculty who are thinking through their next professional steps. While you can't be everyone's friend and confidant, your community knowing um, that you can fill that role can make hard conversations about how to move someone's research agenda forward when that agenda also becomes tied to life and employment choices. 